Nico Williams, currently the talk of town, uh, the darling boy of Spanish football right now. And he has been praised, uh, particularly by his brother, Iñaki Williams. After his man of the match performance in the final uh, for Spain, uh, that meant they won the Euros for a record fourth time. No one has more Euros than Spain currently. And Nico uh, will look at the surprises coming his way from Michael Lissian, Iñaki Williams, and the world in general. We'll also talk about the Copa America and Argentina have garnered another trophy. In the same light, or can we talk about them in the same context as uh, the Spanish team of 2008 to 2012? We'll have a discussion on that. And you let me know in the comments box uh, who is better and who would have won if these two teams had faced each other currently, considering how good they both have in in recent times and in the past for the spanish national team we'll also talk about andrea Yu, yeah the ghana black stars captain in a lecture at the university of ghana uh, talked about uh, what is said to be a perceived lack of passion he says the reason for it is a cultural disconnect we'll have a look at all that today as usual don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates we'll jump right into it but a couple of shout outs i have to give before i start as usual ernest uh, jikunu thank you so much for your comments uh, seeing your comments on the channel and appreciate it del soka thank you so much for your comments on the Accra to folk uh, complex and nana kwabana owusu i appreciate your comments on our video last time uh, michael uh, plaka appreciate your comments and D Kwabena as well. All these comments came from our video. But before then, as I said to you, we have a talk about uh, he, Nico Williams, an amazing footballer uh, for the Spanish national team. He a lot of praise. After last night, he led Spain to a record fourth Euro title. He opened the scoring for the Spanish national team in the second half. After the interval, he found the back of the net and set Spain on uh, to beat the Three Lions. England recovered uh, through Cole Palmer, a substitute again, this time making an impact for the Three Lions after Oli Watkins literally brought them into this final. It was great to see the Three Lions attempting to do another comeback. It looked on the cards, but Spain had had ideas. And in reality, they have been the better side. It was a great, great goal in the end that saw them win the trophy in the, at Berlin, at the Olympic Stadion in Berlin. As things stand now, Nico Williams is one for the future. Barcelona have piqued their interest in him and are looking uh, to get him into their club. Lamine Yamal, a darling boy for FC Barcelona, he will probably stay put uh, with the Catalan Giants and Nico might be joining him pretty soon. It's very possible. Anything is possible. But Nico being of Ghanaian descent along with Kobe Mainu unfortunately on the losing side he earned a lot of praise from his brother, Iñaki Williams. But not before Michael Lysian talked about how amazing he was. He was amazing, amazing. I mean, as a young player, turning up in the big game, scoring for your country. I mean, what more can I say? He has been fantastic. Nico was named man of the match following the outstanding display against England. Iñaki uh, also heaped a lot of praise on him uh, vamos nico williams how proud i am of you one more day at the office he added on a post on twitter in an epic game in berlin nico's goal opened the scoring and set spain on the way to a, hist a historic fourth crown barcelona probably on the cards for nico williams but it has been an amazing tournament for him and and, and people have seen how uh, Great, he can be on the wings, amazing winger. And it's been a while I've seen such a traditional winger in the game. In recent times, you notice that the wing play or wingers that have so much trickery under their belt and make things happen in the box for their teammates have dwindled a bit. It's great to see Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams bring back that one here. In all honesty, England will feel hard done by, but they don't 
probably deserve to win in my opinion spain have been the better side throughout the tournament look at the end of the brackets that they were in they face france they face the host germany they face italy in the group stages and also face croatia in the group stages and then albania and then went on to meet georgia it has not been an easy side of the bracket to come out from and it was always predicted that the team that would come out triumphant in that end of the bracket would probably go on to win it and that is how everything panned out and spain nico williams earning a lot of praise let me know your thoughts on uh, uh, nico williams and where he should go to next stay put with bilbao or make that Barcelona move. We'll talk about the Copa America as well as Argentina also won the back-to-back -back Copa America titles and followed a World Cup triumph in 2022 with another triumph here at the Copa America 2024. The Copa America was marred by unfortunate incidents in terms of crowd control, fans being and jumping and uh, eventually free gates being allowed for them to enter. It was very very poor organization i have to say from either from commonable the united states it did not sit well with me that being said the football happened eventually and lionel messi although being injured uh, with a swollen ankle uh, was able to celebrate and also left the trophy uh, with his country it was amazing to watch messi now has 45 trophies in his career no player has more it's amazing and uh, he could be there still in 2026 uh, for the United States of America World Cup. He's still playing with Inter Miami. So it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds for Lionel Messi and uh, his national team. That being said, Spain will play Argentina in the finalissima. Uh, that is going to happen in 2025. But in your opinion, let me know what you think. Spanish dominance of 2008 to 2012 compared to the Argentine dominance of 2021 to 2024 which team was better and who would beat who in a contest if it was played right now let me know your thoughts in the comments box I'll end with the story of Andrea Ayu and why he thinks there is a setting uh, thought of culture of lack of passion from Black Stars players he says it's uh, because of a cultural disconnect that is what accounts for the perceived lack of passion now you believe the team's patriotism remains unchanged he highlights uh, the different career paths taken by the current generation as a possible reason for the disconnect he said we have a young squad uh, who are now understanding what it means to play for the team they started playing abroad at a young age unlike the old generation who came through the local league. He emphasizes the challenges faced by these young players. They tend to cope more with what they are experiencing abroad. So coming back to Ghana to readapt to our culture and values is not easy. Ayu proposes a solution. Psychologically, everybody needs to understand what Ghana, what Ghana means. What Ghana football means to the people, the young ones would need more support to be able to focus on what playing for the country means yeah so andrea he was a guest lecturer last week a long lecture two hour lecture and uh, this is some part i picked on it concerning the black stars he also talked about the captaincy and the fact that there will always uh, be controversy or talk about whoever is giving captains and banding uh, what not we'll break it down fully when i have the chance to go through that video but he says for the perceived lack of passion he blames cultural disconnect the young players coming up they go straight into foreign clubs they don't go through the local league and understand what football means to the people and all that so probably they do not get it and that could be seen as a perceived lack of passion uh, he proposes to that uh, they need to be taken through uh, what Ghana football means to Ghanaians and the Black Stars means to Ghanaians and probably they will understand it better. So that has been it for today. Breaking down the Euros, Nico Williams, star of the show and the praises heaped on him by Mike Lesian and Iñaki Williams and Andrea Ayu on the perceived lack of passion uh, from uh, Black Stars players. He explained it in his guest lecture. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great, uh, great uh, week.